so we are ending our May reading a little early because I'm about to go on a trip and I would like my June reading all to be included in that trip because it starts in May and ends in June. So welcome to a 25 day May wrap up. Welcome back or if you are new here, welcome. My name is Katrina and I make bookish content here on this channel every week and then mostly movie reviews here at the weekend. I have not had time to go to a movie review for the past couple of weeks so apologies that those have been missing lately but they will return as well as book versus movie and I've got another couple of reading vlogs coming your way very soon as well. If you haven't seen my Bout of Books reading vlog, I will leave it linked up above because a lot of the books that I'm going to talk about here today with you right now come from that reading vlog. Um, so also very excitingly, I actually have three categories of books to talk about, which has not happened, I think probably since I moved back from Denver. So I used to always talk about my wrap ups in terms of eBooks, physical books and audiobooks and of late they have been just audiobooks with occasional ebooks thrown in there but today we have something in all three categories not just one thing in all three categories either it's very exciting so let's start with ebooks i read the first part in the new series from bella osborne i read a wedding at sandy cove which is um yes part one in the Sandy Cove, A Wedding at Sandy Cove series. This is part one, Always the Bridesmaid, and I loved it. I talk a little bit more about it in that reading vlog. But it's the first in a new adult romance series, and I cannot wait to read part two when it hits my Kindle on the 8th of June, because of course I have pre-ordered it. So I'm very excited about that one. Then um, speaking of the first in a new series, I also read the first part in the new series from Holly Hepburn, Escape to Darling Cove, um, part one, New Horizons. This takes place on the island of Ennisfarne, which is basically like Holy Island. Think when the tide goes out, um, you can drive over a causeway to get to the island. As soon as the tide comes back in again, mm -mm, you're not going anywhere. A little bit trapped, a little bit cabin fever. And this is the first dual narrative start to a new series from Holly Hepburn as well. And I love a dual narrative. So I'm so here for that. Again, both of those were lovely quick reads. So if you are looking for something to try and slot into things in between bank holiday weekend celebrations, recommend either of those. And then... I also read The Summer Fair by Heidi Swain, which I do talk about in that reading vlog as well. This is her summer adult rom-com. This takes place in Nightingale Square and it was so lovely to be back in that setting. I couldn't remember whether it was, this was Nightingale Square or um, her other setting, Winbridge, um, but this one is, uh, yeah, Nightingale Square, and um, we have a bit of music in this one, which we haven't had in Heidi Swain's previous novels, but yeah, going back to a familiar setting and catching up with familiar characters just added a whole other level to this one. With a Heidi Swain novel, you're always going to get a main character who is at a bit of a crossroads in their lives, they're feeling a little bit despondent about the state of the world, and Heidi Swain comes along and says, come with me, it'll be okay, let's put you in a wonderful setting with some wonderful people and make good things happen for you. And that's what happens in this book. No spoilers, obviously, as exactly how it happens, but Heidi Swain's wonderful usual magic is present in this one. And all three of those books were also May releases as well. Are you proud of me? Did I do well? Um, it's just, phew, goes from positive to positive. Then, speaking of book versus movies that's coming up, I read um, all of the graphic novels in the Heartstopper series. They're about to fall on the floor too slidey, the Heartstopper series by Alice Oseman. So here is book one, um, <laughs> Boy Meets Boy. And my favorite thing about this series is the illustration of the shoes. I absolutely love these books and I can't wait to finish re watching the series so I can make my book versus movie for you. I have watched some of the series, but not all of the series yet. So I'm really excited to sit down and watch them all. Maybe while well, this video uploads, who knows? But I have a book versus movie coming away very soon. So here's part one. Here is part two, glorious. Look at the shoes again. Shoes, socks for rugby. A little bit of messaging and headphones going on. And here is part three. No shoes in this one, but this backpack that appears 
on Charlie's back here appears on Charlie's back in episode one of the series. So loving that attention to detail so far. Must be really interesting making a um, serialization of a graphic novel series, bringing a graphic novel to screen when you've already got, you know, such beautiful art already going on in the book um and part four is still upstairs next to my bed so i did not bring that down to share with you now but um yes i read all four of those and then if you haven't seen my reading vlog i don't have a physical copy with me because physical copies of both of these books are at school but speaking of graphic novels i also read narwhal and jelly peanut butter and jelly which is fabulous and makes me want to watch read some more of this graphic novel series this is a graphic novel for kids and my class also loved it it was really funny so we read that and then our book that we've been basing our writing on for the past three weeks has been field trip to the moon you know what happens when no it's not humans being invaded by aliens but it's aliens being invaded by humans and those humans happen to have some crayons with them what happens then what happens next very exciting um and yes that is the physical books i read so that is a grand total of six physical books no no wait i have one more speaking of books i read with my class i also read the entirety of sam Wu is not afraid of zombies with my class this um month in the month of may in the tw first 25 days of may very exciting and we are currently having read sam Wu is not afraid of space we've currently moved on to sam Wu is not afraid of sharks and that is possibly going to be in my june wrap up because we are more than halfway through it so i'm very excited to get on with that one i'm preferring sharks over zombies right now i think zombies got just a little bit silly but space was very very good really really recommend sam Wu is not afraid of space Okay, so that is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven physical books and three ebooks. It's magical. It's it's just magical. The things that doing about a books and counting the things that I read with my class bring to the table. Let's move on to audiobooks now. I listened to again some of my most anticipated releases of the year were in the month of May and came out and were May releases, and they were some of my most anticipated books. So if you haven't seen my 22 books that I want to read in 2022 video, I will leave that linked up above, um, because a couple of the books at the beginning, the eBooks featured in that one, but also featuring in that one is Office BFFs by Jenna Fisher and Angela Kinsey. This is non-fiction. It is narrated by the authors and it does tell you some of the things that you haven't heard on the Office Ladies podcast. I was worried that it would be all the same information. Um, it got a little bit more personal and a little bit more into their lives and so I really enjoyed listening to this one. I started it one day and finished it the next day. That's how fun it was and it was you know a solid nine hour ten hour audiobook it's a full length book um and then speaking of huh, releases i'm excited about my 2022 releases i'm excited about i read a june release this one is the guilty couple by cl taylor i really need to sit down and write the review of this one before all the information falls out of my head but i just recently finished this one i finished it right before starting office bffs and so um i need to sit down and review it because it was excellent it was cl taylor thrilling us uh the only way she knows how leaving us hanging at the end of a chapter making me carry on listening in my car once i've already got to somewhere making me carry on listening in my classroom while i'm setting up for the day because i can't bear to stop listening i need to find out what's happening this is this is cl taylor adult thriller right here and i'm very excited because i do have tickets to see her speak at the um harrogate crime festival this year it's tied up with when i break up from school so i'm very excited to go home and see some authors in my hometown very excited for that and then there's more um also from my most anticipated releases of the year i listened to london with love by sarah manning which i also need to sit down and write a review of um this says some journeys last a lifetime and the best thing about this is um each of the chapters starts at a metro station location so we have london underground stations and we have new york subway stations and i really appreciated um the different uh yeah stations that are connected with i'm um, popping into london recently i was like oh yeah something took place near this station 
very exciting. Um, I would love to have done a vlog of reading this at all the different stations that it takes place, but I don't, I don't have any plans to be in New York anytime soon. So that's not gonna work, but I did really enjoy this one. This one felt a lot like um, One Day Meets, now I said it in the vlog and I can't remember who it was, <laughs> One Day Meets someone else with all the, the London underground. It felt like One Day Meets Bridget Jones, to be honest with you, but um, no, that's what it felt like. One day meets about a girl, not about how to build a girl. So one day by David Nichols meets how to build a girl by Catelyn Moran. Um, <laughs> just cut all those, cut all those comparisons together. Very exciting. Um, this is adult romance rom com, and I just love the fact that you know we can see Piccadilly Circus on the front here. It's fabulous. Um, and then finally, uh, another anticipated May release. I know, getting in all the May releases in the month of May, before the month of May is even done. Um, I listened to I Kissed Shara Wheeler by Casey McQuiston. This is the UK cover. The US cover is basically the same, but with a pale green background. And then there's a Barnes & Noble special edition, which has a pale purple background and I do like the pale purple background um this one wasn't what I expected I have to say it definitely wasn't what I expected um and felt a bit sort of a little bit heathersy um and I'm still kind of sitting with my thoughts I can't decide if I enjoyed it or not I'm really on the fence with whether I would say yes I recommend this one or not so leave that one with me and I'll, I'll let you know sometime in the future. My blog is always linked down below and I do already have a review of um, at least the Summer Fair on there, but I will have a review of I Kissed Shara Wheeler on there. So yeah, keep an eye out on that so that you don't miss my thoughts because I haven't got my thoughts quite ready just yet. Um, but yeah, I stopped my May reading just a little bit early. Um, and so now we need to start on our June reading. I don't often post my May wrap up before posting my June TBR, but my June TBR will be with you next week. So you can find out what I am reading on my trip and what I am reading for Pride Month and what I have left over from my May reading that's going to go on my June TBR. There were a lot of releases in the month of May. So even though I've read a lot of them and I've read a June release in May, there are still May releases that I did not get to. And you might recognise something from my May TBR that I did not get to coming up in my June TBR as well. So make sure you are subscribed and hit that notification bell. I will also... <laughs> be watching some more movies very soon so there will be movies coming your way very soon as well movie reviews even um so make sure you don't miss out on those if you enjoyed this video do give it a thumbs up let me know what you have read in the month of may or if there have been any big releases you've been anticipating come out this month as well just like me so many may releases so many i'm just so excited that i've just read <laughs> ebooks physical books and audiobooks this month who knows if it'll happen in June, but we'll try and make something happen that's just as exciting. So I will be back with that June TBR for you very, very soon. Um, so I will see you then. Thanks for watching. Bye.